not LSU time. It is 4.15 Tuesday, November 19th, 2019. This is the Convention, Tourism, and Public Entertainment Facilities Committee meeting. We are in the City Courthouse, otherwise known as City Hall, crammed in a committee room in the back corner of the building, and I do detect a quorum. We have three things on the, two things on the agenda today. Uh, first up is Bill 2019-4. Councilman Sledge amends Chapter 6.04 of the Metro Code of Laws to prohibit aerial advertising. Before anyone makes a motion, I have a letter from Councilman Sledge to indefinitely defer this. Do I have a motion for Submitted deferral? To defer indefinitely. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Councilman gets his wish. Right. Second thing up is Councilman O'Connell, and we need him in this room because this is a late filed ordinance. So if you're actually watching in the public out there, give us just a second. Well, why don't you move to the hill and let's take the name. This is the hill. Oh, that is it. Okay. So we had three. Two. I corrected oh, myself. Okay. Remember, I said three, no two. No, I don't remember because I'm old. <laughs> well, we're all old. Can't hear, can't remember. <laughs> it's hard to walk. You missed half the hospitals. I, I'm sorry, I was I was occupied in another meeting. So uh, they were all grants, right? Okay. I would have voted. I would, I would have, I would have voted in favor of all of them. So. Councilman O'Connell, thank you for joining us, sir. Uh, we are now on a late filed ordinance, which yes. doesn't even have a bill number. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I apologize for the late file. I think. Uh, let me, let me let me read it in the record first of all. Hold on. Um, this is an ordinance to provide for the designation of public property within spe specified areas of downtown Nashville as a temporary special event zone during the time period beginning at 9 p.m. on December 30th, 2019 and ending at 6 a.m. on January 1st, 2020, relative to the use of these areas in conjunction with the 2019 New Year's Eve celebration and related activities and events. Move adoption. Mm -hmm. Second. All right, Councilman O'Connell. Thank you, sorry for the late file. I'll be at rules confirmations and uh, public elections as well this evening. Uh, Andrew Arnold is here from the CDC. Uh, we've done this for the past few years, you all know. Um, new members, what we have done for these major kind of destination, landmark, uh, music city, hallmark events, our New Year's Eve celebration, our Independence Day celebration, CMA Fest, am I missing yep. anything? Are those the big three? Well, we did it for NFL. And oh, and that's those certain special exceptions like NFL draft. Uh, it helps to have a coordinated, um, more or less landing pad for those events where we know exactly what uh, the public security and safety plan is gonna be, traffic, all of these things. This is no um, departure from any of that. This is a norm. You all know we just did a resolution uh, celebrating the retirement of Terry Clements, and I know Andrea's picked up a lot of uh, the workload there. Um, and so it was just, we got it in literally, I think, two hours after the filing deadline. And so it is late. So I apologize. But so that's the only reason. That's literally the only reason. <laughs> and I will concur with Councilman O'Connell that we've done this on multiple occasions. Right. Um, happens every year. So, yes. any, any questions? No. Yep. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? If I can, Chair, I have a, uh, item process, yes. Councilman Van Rees. Um, yes, before before we close the meeting, uh, the resolution uh, 201983 uh, in regard to the PC logo sign program was not referred to this committee, but I wanted to make sure that you knew that. Um, uh, uh, if adopted uh, tonight, that it does have a very uh, significant impact on tourism as well. So I want to make sure this committee was aware of that. Um, the rules from TDOT indicate that um, uh, it can either be uh, restaurants, uh, places to stay, or attractions. And so um, I think it'll be a little bit of um, wayfaring that um, the community can uh, rely on as well. So if you're interested, it's still a, you can still sign on to it. And I appreciate the opportunity to talk about it. This is the Madison. Um, no, it's it's, uh, it's countywide. Um, it's uh, an adoption into the TDOT Blue Logo okay. Sign Program. But isn't so the Madison be, Chamber kind of the one? Or, um, they're they're supporting it as okay. is the Nashville Chamber. Okay. Um, and um, any uh, there's several uh, anybody who is 
any kind of business within three miles of Briley Parkway, okay. Ellington Parkway, or any of the highways uh, would be of benefit to when, it. When would it take effect? Uh, as soon as enough people contact TDOT and say they want to pay for their logo to be on a sign, they will put one up. So. Yeah, and to, and to clarify, if I may interject for just a second, the city doesn't pay for any of this. The city pays this, for this nothing. Is, this is completely yeah. voluntary yeah. from the businesses that operate within three miles of that particular yeah. stretch of road. Is, is, it, is it limited to, because I, I can imagine that the exit for Broadway would be uh, Broadway really is big. Not, yeah, Broadway um, on 65, there's certain limitations as regard to how close you are to a uh, clover leaf and things yes. of that okay. nature. So TDOT's um, yeah, this worked out all that stuff out. Okay, yeah, this shouldn't yeah. affect the downtown town core transit at all. Yeah, I just don't want this it to be like sign, sign, sign. No. Right, and that was so something that we wanted to verify. Yeah. And one of the things, too, is that there is um, uh, um, kind of a, a parachute out if at some point in 20 years from now, and it's just like not what we want to do anymore, then the state representatives of Davidson County can request um, for us to be withdrawn from it. So that's always a possibility in the yeah. distant future. You know, when you travel, they're really valuable in my mind. I think they are. Yeah. Because if you go down and you don't know what's down West End or whatever, you don't right. know if there's a, a, a gas station or a restaurant. So I, I, to me, I, I, I so usually rely on you the, the hotels. You know how important it yeah, is to be absolutely. able to where to stay. So yeah. thank you for the opportunity. You're very welcome. Okay. Anything else? We are adjourned. Thank you very much for joining us. <laughs>